Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a no-bake adventure bars and balls recipe that I totally didn't steal from my friend Rick. Now, I love to take these out with me when I head into the mountains, and my friend Rick introduced me to the idea of making batches and freezing them so that you can take them when you need them. But I've hipstered this recipe up a little bit, and I've changed some of the ingredients, so this is my version. Coincidentally, it's turned out to be vegan, but if you're not vegan, you're still gonna enjoy them because they're really tasty. So the first thing you need to do is to take one cup of oats or about 80 grams and just blend these up in a food processor. We're just gonna blend these into a dust. Okay, next to add in is some protein powder. I've got this stuff called Huel, human fuel. I found it online and it's amazing. It's really, really good for the body and it's got a great taste. It contains pea protein, brown rice protein, flaxseed, coconut. It's a really good, tasty powder. So we're gonna add about half a cup or 80 grams of the Huel into the recipe. If you don't have this, you can use any other kind of protein, flavored protein powder that you want, or meal replacement powder. It's really up to you. To that, you wanna add quarter of a cup of cacao powder or about 20 grams. Now just blend that together. Right, now you wanna add about 15 grams of desiccated coconut. What I like to do is keep about a pinch left to add in to the dough afterwards just to give a bit of texture. Do the same with the pecans. About 15 grams of pecan nuts going in. Pecans. Now, at this point, you want to add your dates. Now, before I started the recipe, I just left these to soak to one side. They're medjool dates and they are delicious. They were once called the fruit of the kings back in the olden days. They are really, really good for the body. What these will do in the recipe is add the moisture. They kind of are the glue that brings everything together. We're gonna add about a cup or 140 grams of soaked dates. Don't discard the water, leave that to one side. Add a pinch of salt. You also want to add about half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And it's time to blend all this up and bring it into a nice sticky dough. Okay, and that's basically everything you need to do. I'm gonna now add the dough into the bowl. At this point, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of cacao nibs, as well as my crushed coconut and pecan nuts. Once you've got your nuts and the coconut and the cacao nibs into the dough, just knead it all together. Okay, now once you have rolled that into a nice solid dough, you need to get some baking parchment out and place the dough mixture onto it. At this stage, it's up to you whether you make bars or balls. I kind of think that bars are easier to transport in a lunchbox if you're going to the office so you kind of got a nice uh, environment unless you're on the mountain where you're gonna need balls because they're gonna get crushed in the backpack or you know they're gonna get sat on or squidged about. So I'm gonna make both. Just gonna separate this over here. This is gonna be my bar side. Place the baking parchment over the mixture, get yourself a rolling pin and roll out. Size doesn't matter with this recipe. Big balls, short balls, long bars, short bars, whatever you wanna do. So once you've rolled that out, remove the baking parchment and then just chop into bars. Layer them up. This way you can put them in the fridge to set. And now I'm gonna make my balls, which is as simple as it sounds. Grab your mixture. I like to just roll it into a big bunch and then twist off. See, you've got a little handful. Just work it between your hands into a nice ball shape. Now, I would suggest putting these into the fridge for a couple of hours just to harden up, but you can eat these right now. They're so delicious. They're so good. 
The cacao is really good, the huel is really good, the pecans, the desiccated coconut. This has got so much great energy inside it that no matter whether you're climbing up a hill, a mountain, or just the stairs at the tube station, these are a great addition to your diet and your daily food intake. Now, if you've liked this recipe, um, please comment below on what you would do differently. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and check out some more videos I've done. So we've arrived. That is Pulpit Rock right there in the background. Just a little over two hours to get here, and it's amazing. 